Hello everybody. Welcome to Tech Nugget channel. This channel is dedicated to provide quick informative videos for super busy programmers. It may help you to solve some of your day-to-day -day programming problems or it may help you to learn something new in a quick way. And this way and these videos covers various programming language like Python, Julia, Node.js and Java. Please stay tuned to this channel. And today's topic is Fast API CRUD operation with MongoDB. First of all, what is Fast API? Fast API is one of the high performance web framework for application development, which is available today in Python language. And the performance is comparable to Go on Node.js. Fast API is based on Starlet framework, which is meant for high performance and async support. And also, Fast API comes with uh, all modern bells and whistles like WebSocket and GraphQL and also Open API support. So, I have done a basic intro video as part one. You can view for more details under demo code. So, one of the challenge in API design today is a modeling because you may have to design your object first for example you want to design an employee application or you may want to design e-commerce application then you may have to design for employee as an employee object or if it's e-commerce you may have to or design various objects like um, product order um, customer the right so here um, how does how does that modeling can be done. Uh, how do we do this modeling uh, in this API world here? That's where Pydantic helps. So, what is this Pydantic? Basically, it's a framework to model your object and also used for the validation of the particular object. Basically, it will give you the hint. It's something like a class. You you design a class with um, with fields and the types so it gives you type hint for the validation during runtime okay so where do we put this uh, data so we have i have used mongodb uh, for uh, this CRUD operation demo so mongodb is one of the popular nosql db and it is high performing document based db uh, if you want to compare the tradi traditional rdbms uh, table here it's called as a collection um, and the record in the RDBM is called here as a document so let's let's talk about CRUD right what is CRUD basically create read update delete so what we are going to do we will map this operations with uh, uh, typical HTTP rest methods like get post put and delete for example, uh, take a CRUD semantic with uh, get post put delete and delete. So I would like to say create with post, uh, read with uh, get, update with put, and delete with delete. Right. Let us do the code uh, walkthrough. Just give me. A, let's change my screen. So what I've done here. So I created. Uh, uh, instead of coding, just to save the time, I've already done this coding. Uh, I'll just walk you through quickly. Um, uh, I've created a class called, not a class, and especially the application Fast API Server, CRUD Server, Fast API CRUD Server, and I'm importing uh, the required imports. So while I'm doing this, I would like to say the required software, right? So it's a uh, Python 3.6. I'm using Python 3.8 and also FastAP uh, 0.6.52, Pydantic 1.812, and uh, PyMongo uh, 3.11.4 and MongoDB 4.46. So I'm running MongoDB locally. Let's go back to the code again. Okay. So the imports uh, Pydantic. As I was saying, it gives you the base model and you can basically design your object. So for the demo purpose, uh, I have, I'm going to create a pet DB, pets DB. And then inside the pets, I'm going to create a table with uh, 
fish so i'm going to put some aquarium fish into that uh, with the price right so uh, once the imports are done i have i have used the mongo db client connection with the local db and uh, i'm defining my database with the pets db as a client with pets db and collections with fish collection and the, i i made a class uh, pet uh, id so in mongodb there is a object identifier with underscore if you want you can use that that's basically to represent the individual record uh, identifier however i used a natural id this can be anything in fact if this is to make it demonstration easy just i we can use it with numbers or it can be a name and also i have a so pets model uh, id as an integer the name as a string a description as a string and price as a float okay so this this advantage with pydantic uh, it gives you all the fields as well the type so that we don't have to run around with um you don't have to run around with string or numbers or whatever so you forget about this jinja template i was trying for the template so the five uh, fast ap supports jinja template or uh, i may cover that in one of the other video so let's get back to the sport so i'm i'm initializing here as a app with fast ap now i'm i have defined this operation thread operation so i just so as i was saying earlier you are going to put the basic http methods like uh, get post put and delete so you are all of your methods so you may ask okay if i have only four four uh, methods get post put and delete so how i am going to have my methods more than four no so you are going to create a type of that for example i will create a type of post method i will say create pet i may say next to maybe in another class or here itself i may say create fish or i may create uh, use create employee so i can but the type is post so what i'm talking about is the types not the number of methods so all of your methods revolves around this four four methods only four http method that is get post put and delete okay so let's let's get back to the code so create so what i'm done when i say create this is a post i have to use a http post for that i have to pass this pet object the pet object is a fish but the type of pet is fish here so i have to pass four parameters that is id name description price okay so just to have some debug information i printed i'm printing what i'm getting and also uh, i'm using a fish collection dot insert one because it's a one object i want to create and uh, while inserting one what i have done pet dot dictionary that's one one advantage when i use pydantic so yeah, i can directly convert that entire class as a dictionary and also i can create i can convert as a json file right so once i inserted i am taking the inserted right? inserted id and returning the same id just for printing debug information this is create then we have a read method read pet in fact when you look at this the, you don't really have to give this name just for a demonstration i'm giving but it's uh, it's not necessary because the type of method says what type what method is this for example we are supposed supposed to be it is only for the creation it's used okay and uh, this is for get so i'm going to get a, a fish so pet i'm using it's fish so with id so the same thing here i pass an id uh, from a fish collection i am going to find one with id find one or if you pass any uh, for example this with id one same thing you can use it with uh, other names like uh, i can name it name a fish or if you have more than one names you can have find many where you can return a collection also that i have another method to do that so one thing you have to notice here if for example i have i am passing the id what if the id is not existing what should i do i should handle as an exception that's where i use try and catch 
if uh, the id is not existing so also you notice the status code for example when i say post basically the post it's a creation of the method i'm returning 201 means it's created for a uh, read it's 200 so if the id is not existing your uh, status code will be 404 that's not found that's a typical http status code so i'm returning that and say pet not found message also i'm returning okay so also as i was saying so i'm giving another method read all pet so i don't have to give any id it it will give you everything as a collection okay so here also if there is an error occurs this is a uh, try and catch i'll i'm giving the exception and also uh, i'm giving 404 what if the db is completely empty i'm trying to show something then that's where i'll be using this 404 and corresponding error message so other method is update pet basically this one is app dot put that's http put what this in this put method update update of this pet i'm doing as a price update i'm going to do okay that's what say oh, that's a syntax right fish collection dot update underscore one then uh, taking this pet id because again i'm taking not id because i need the entire object what has to be modified so i take the pet and uh, the price i will update it it's possible you can update multiple fields or you can update the entire object itself so here just a demonstration purpose i'm changing only the price and the finally we have a delete method that is to remove one of the object okay so i have done all this uh, let's start this server okay so to start the server i am using uv icon so when you install uh, python and uh, flask api you need to have uv icon because that's a production ready uh, fast uh, the production ready framework to run this fast api server okay U, uv icon so name of the method and the main and say reload so that we don't if you do any modification it should reload it automatically it is done let's go back and test it it's not found because the reason is i have not done the root uh, document right so as i was saying it is going to give you a very nice interface with open api that's called swagger let's go go there okay so it's pretty good neat so now i don't have to rely on any http client or any other client during the development i can use the first class support from the fast api server itself right okay um so let's see what we have first in the db i have as a as a demonstration i added a one fish let's find out what we have here right so so just i'll i'll introduce this uh, interface first of all right so as i was saying you can see the color coded one the post is the one it is for a, you can read the names as i given the user friendly names it's for creation get and put and delete so it, it is a very nice uh, documented way of um, testing your api okay let's uh, read first what we have let's go for read all so i don't know what is existing the db let's say try it out execute you will find the response with 200 and uh, there is a one record existing with id one name angel angel fish i believe uh, and the prices something like a, it's a dummy price like something five dollar and uh, you you can notice there is an object id this is an internal id of uh, mongodb which used for uh, the document identifier uh, 
usually you can swap this ID to this, but just to demonstration, I created my own ID and kept it separate. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new fish. Uh, go ahead. Um, try it out. Say let's say goldfish. Try it. Goldfish. Goldfish. See the price is say seven dollars. Maybe it's a pair. Just a fictitious price, right? It can be anything. Let's say go ahead and execute. What are the response you got? As I was showing the code, you have received 201, ID is 2. So that this is a second ID which is created. Now if I go back and check with the read all, so I should be able to see that one more. So angel was existing. So the next one is ID 2. That's goldfish with price of 7. Okay, let's go back and um, update this. For example, I got a goldfish and there is a high demand. I am increasing this price. Uh, there is a low supply. I am increasing the price to 7 to $10. It's quite high, but let's do something different, right? Go here. We know the ID. So first click on try it out. So as you if you notice because you have to give the entire object what you have to do because I'm going to pick the ID I'm going to update the fields right it's a goldfish and as I showed in the code I'm changing the price so to 10 okay say execute And uh, I got the response 200 and uh, update success. So how do I test this? I can either call uh, get on. Let us check this also get right. Get with ID. We know. Let's check only two. So as you see here, ID two name goldfish, description goldfish, and the price is 10. It's updated. Very good. So now what happens? Okay, so I have a goldfish I put, it's all sold out. Now probably I don't have a stock, I may have to delete it. That's a fictitious scenario. So what will I do? I'll I'll go ahead and execute my delete method. For a delete, you don't have to pass an object, you, you can pass an ID. So here we add a ID two. It's goldfish, right? Let's go ahead and execute. So you have seen delete success. Okay. Now um, we can see read all. You'll see only angel fish, right? Okay, so that's all today I wanted to show it. So in order to show this, for example, this one way you can see here, and also I used a MongoDB Compass as a viewer, I can see that, for example, this is, I refresh it, angelfish still existing. Um, I can go back and uh, create again with this goldfish and show you, um, it was not in the memory, it was from actually from DB, just how they say execute. That's one one uh, one quick advantage, right? I don't have to type here. Once you're trying it out, it's easy. It it gives you the development quite easier and nice. Now I'll go back. Now what if I'll refresh this? I can see goldfish with seven. Okay. Um. Thank you very much. Uh, that's all for uh, this video. Uh, please stay tuned for the next video uh, with the different topics. Thank you very much.